Now, pardon my sniffles. Uh, as you can see, the front end of the car is coated in a white powder. It is a baby powder isopropyl alcohol mix that just makes 3D scanning way more accurate and consistent. Shiny surfaces, it doesn't do so well with. So this just gives me a nice matte surface. It doesn't affect the texturing. It makes the scan quality come out way better. Part of this build series I wanted to do to commemorate hitting 100 subscribers. Now, it's a small milestone, but for me it's a milestone nonetheless. And I've been really enjoying the feedback and the, I guess, the positivity towards some of my other projects. And it's really helped me look at what I do as an engineer from different angles. So I'm looking forward to sharing my process on going from nothing to scanning, CAD, prototyping, CAD, prototyping, CAD, prototyping. You get the idea. Until we get to a point of cutting into the front end of the car and installing a light bar with a programmable garage door that goes in here. So it's going to be a fun little project. I'm looking forward to showing you guys. And let's see what we can get into for today. So now that I've got the front end scanned, I'm going to work on taking the front bumper off because part of this, being able to see if we can fit it in the back, which I'm fairly confident in, uh, is going to be scanning the underside of the front bumper and seeing what's back there. We may or may not, depending on how well the scan comes out, scan the underside, the backside of the bumper. So I'm going to just set the camera down and pop the bumper off. I'll put a link down below for I can't remember his, what his name is. His name's Cameron. Uh, he's done a bunch of mods to the Focus RS, and he has really good in-depth videos of how to do what I'm about to do. So I'll point you over to him down below, and I'm going to pull the front bumper off. All right, so I'm going to get the front clip of the car off, and we're going to work on 3D scanning the underside of the bumper. This main area right here with this big chunk of ugly plastic is our primary focus. So I'm going to 3D scan it with this chunk and then again without it just so that way we can see uh, how much space we have to play with. Judging by having this removed, I put it back on to take the shot, uh, there's tons of room to fit a light bar in here. So I'm really, really happy with the results so far. So I'm going to get into 3D scanning and we'll see you in a minute. So I just finished getting the front end scanned with the stock intercooler and this big ugly plastic piece of junk. I'll flip you around and you can see tons of data, plenty of stuff to look at. So now I'm going to remove this. I'm going to, need to pull out the old intercooler. I'm going to put in the new intercooler. And then here is a 3D printed uh, Ram Air intake duct that goes from here and it snorkels down and sits right about here. So I'm gonna work on installing that and then we'll rescan the front end with the changes. All right, so we're well underway of making the modifications to get the Ram Air intake into the car. Uh, it is a Focus ST, as I said, and it is slightly different. So I will be reverse engineering and making one specific to the RS and I'll try to get that online as soon as possible. While our buddy, new buddy Zach, fuck, piss, Jack, Jack uh, God, speech impediments. Uh, while Jack is working on getting the current one assembled for the Ram Air intake, Seth and I have been working on getting the intercooler uh, out. And by us, I mean Seth himself has pretty much been doing all the bolts. But I'm going to give him a hand, ripping it out, and we're going to do a side-by-side -side with the new intercooler to put in the car.
All right, so the front mount Ram Air intake doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Uh, well, it does fit, but once you put the front bumper on, this is actually sticking out of the front bumper. Doesn't so fit. it is, thank you, Jake. So it is, in fact, for an ST. It has a slightly different bumper. So while we were in here, I did scan this area, and I will be just developing my own for the RS platform. That way, if anybody else wants to do as I do and 3D print and make their own, you'll be able to do that. So we got the new front mount intercooler on, bolted up. It was pretty easy enough. It used factory, I'd say bolt holes, but they were squares uh, for the uppers and to the same on the lower for the factory mounts. So now we're gonna work on getting the front clip back on and wrap this project up for the day. To recap, we three scanned the front, popped the bumper off, scanned the underside, scanned the back side of the bumper, scanned the Ram Air intake mounting location. So I'm gonna be designing my own one that'll put it in an actual location that is usable for the Focus RS. Uh, so that's gonna take a little bit on top of all the other projects we have going on. But the bumper's back on, all it's left to do is put the headlights in, hopefully they're still uh, you know, straight. The wheel's on and then that's the wrap for today. Thanks for hanging around. See you in the next one. Thank you.